Jamil, plenty of positives to take from that one. And it's a, a real heartbreaking defeat right at the death. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, it's, um, I think we didn't start the game well, if we're being honest, and probably showed them a little bit of respect, stood off them a little bit um, in terms of trying to get the press on. Um, and then once they scored, I think we had a little bit of five minute wobbly spell, and then we got back into the game. Um, and I thought we were a better team at that point, and without maybe creating too many chances. Um, and obviously, we, we got the equaliser, um, and then kind of little mistakes at the minute are, you know, going against us in terms of when we make a mistake, they score goals. And um, yeah, it's just just a bit of a sore one to take because I thought there was a lot of fight in us, a lot of um, good bits to the, to the game, and a lot of positives we can probably take into, into the crawl, you know. For you, a goal in front of the big stand, a moment you've probably dreamed of for many years. Yeah, definitely. I just said to Paul then, you know, when it went in and a roar, uh, like a roar, you know, it was <laughs> a little bit emotional, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, because obviously, you know, where I grew up and, and everything. Um, but yeah, like I said, it would be nice to, to get a goal in a, in a win, to be honest. I think that's one of the, that's the next goal. <laughs> but from that moment then, the, the team seemed galvanised and it's just those two sucker punches right at the death that... That really talk about we talk about fine margins in games and it's it's that those again is they get that one lucky deflection. Yeah. Douglas doesn't manage to quite put that chance away to put us two and up and it, they just capitalise on it and teams up the top end of the pitch top end of the table sorry do sometimes find those ways to win games. Yeah, I think um, Salford are obviously dangerous on the break. I think even first half, you know, when when they'd gone one up a few times, they almost got in by just on the break because they had wingers who with, with good good pace playing off Matt Smith. Um, and I think you know that's where their their second goal came from, just a break from from the lad. Um, I think maybe as a team we've got to learn in terms of managing the game and maybe trying to make a foul. I think um, you know when they're trying to break away like that. But yeah, those are the fine margins, and you know they've probably come here with a bit of confidence off after off the back of their winning at Hartlepool. Um And you know that's at the minute, like I said, those that's the difference in terms of us maybe we get that sucker punch of them scoring that goal and then even just that little bit of luck the ball drops to London I think the ball comes up from free kick um, there's a knock knockdown and it lands to him around but there's four players around him four Wolves players I think around him but it lands to him and then the deflection um, and that's just our luck but we've just got to dust ourselves off and um, look at the positives like you said we've got a whole week now we've only had the one day to work with Sads and, and Richard so um, you know we've got a whole week now to work towards Crawley and that's, that's what we've got to do and it just shows to show that just how much the you as a group are hurting from that one. I think there was, you know, the vast majority of those who were out still out there on the pitch at the end of it on the floor with head in their hands. It, it, you know that one seemed to really hurt today. That defeat. Yeah, they all hurt. <laughs> to be honest, they all hurt. Um, listen, the Gaffer and Hats win in midweek, and it's not easy when that happens. You feel responsible. To be honest, feel responsible. Um, we've not been good enough since January, um, and again, like I said, every defeat does hurt. Um, it might not come across that way, but we put a lot into it. It's our, it's our livelihoods. It's our every day we come in. It's our work, but it's our, it's our passion as well. So every day we come in and we're trying to work to to try and turn turn it around. And obviously, it didn't. It's not gone our way, especially in, in recent history. Um, and then when it happens again, like you said, it's built up and it's it's horrible feeling when when things are going against you. But as footballers, you've gone through. We've gone through a lot of adversity to even make it as a professional because that many people want to be in our positions so we've got to just keep drawing on that and looking looking to you know keep turning it around until that win does come and um, once it does you know we've, we've just got a well we've got two games left but we need to try and finish on a positive note as possible and that won't be for the one to try and. On a final note you talk about positive notes captain's armband for you today a, a real honour again for you to, to receive that. Yeah again Sads rang me last night and um I didn't. I honestly didn't expect it. I'll be like I said again. I'll be honest. I don't think of my levels of. I've, I've been carrying a few injuries and stuff, and probably to my detriment sometimes. I put myself out there um, just because I want to be available for the team, um, and I've not been hit the levels consistently that I know I can hit. Um, but you know, for sad to show that confidence to me was was massive. If I'm being honest, and um, yeah, I didn't expect because like I said, I don't. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't think I deserved it in terms of because I've not been consistently to the level I know I can reach. But listen, it's a massive honour for me. Um, to, to captain the club, um, you know, obviously Skip's been injured, Donovan's been, Donovan's been injured, so you know I'll, I'll uh, keep it warm till he's back. <laughs>